Hey everyone, Armac here, and this is episode 7 of my Final Fantasy VIII walkthrough. In the last episode, we got our seed exam results, and we had went to Inauguration Ball, and met Quistis at the Training Center, and all that fun stuff happened. We also got ourselves a new room. Super cool. Now in this episode, um, in the, well at the end of the last episode, Quistis let us know that we were to meet at the front hall, uh, because we now have a mission. We are now seeds, so that means we get to be sent out on on missions, official missions, where we aren't being graded, so that's good. Um, so, yep, so that's all we're going to do right now is uh, go ahead and meet at the front hall, get that, uh, the information about that mission, what we're going to do next, and then we're going to do some more grinding, um, and that includes getting more cards, um, getting more... Uh, um, ability points, stuff like that. One more minute. Looks like Zell is late. Made it! T boards are prohibited within Garden. Have you forgotten? Oops, sorry. But this is really cool. It may come in handy on a seed mission someday. We'll be the judges of that. Oh, oh. Confiscate it. Yes, sir, Bob. Where did he put that thing? All of you are members of Seed, but nevertheless, you're still students at this garden. Furthermore, because you are Seeds, you must set an example to all others and abide by the garden's rules. Understood? Well, about your first mission. You are to go to Timber. There you will be supporting a resistance faction. That is your mission. A member of the faction will contact you at Timber Station. This person will talk to you and say the forests of Timber sure have changed. At this time you must reply, but the owls are still around. That is the password. Just follow the faction's orders. Uh, just us three? Correct. We have agreed to do this mission for very little money. Normally, we would never accept such requests, but... Enough talk about that. Well, then, Squall, you are the squad leader. Use your best judgment based on the situation. Zell and Selfie, you are to support Squall and give your all to carry out the faction's plans. Okay, so now that we know that, let's talk to him again. Oh, and Squall, I forgot to give you this. It's a cursed item, but if one with enough power uses it, it should be of great help. Enough power, hmm? Received magical lamp, how exciting. Now that is an item that we now have in our inventory. You should save your game before using it, sounds dangerous. Uh, first thing, Bo, before we do that, we're going to get rid of uh, Quistus's junctions, and I'm just going to get rid of Squalls for now because I want to kind of start our party fresh. I do want him... Um, oh, wait, you know what? I should actually change magic. I'll have Zell take all of Quistus's magic, and then let's rearrange this. I like restore attack and direct for some reason. All right. And then let's go ahead and do the GFs. I'm going to give... Squall, Ifrit, and Siren, because I want him to have the elemental and status attacks. And I'll give him... You know what? Actually, I usually do item GF draw, but this time I'm going to do magic GF draw for everybody because of the upcoming fight. It can be useful. Uh, for Selfie, I'm giving her Quetzalcoatl because of the magic. Um, I'm also doing magic GF draw for her. And then for Zell, I'm giving him Shiva because of the strength stat. Attack, and then Magic GF draw. Alright, and Spirit plus 20%, I guess. It's actually not bad going in. And uh, make sure, I'm, I'm going to change this for the status attack. You, I would actually recommend doing blind, because the uh, enemy we're going to fight is, uh, he can actually be blinded, so that's good. And yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Alright, and now that we've gotten all of our junctions done, let's go ahead, click on the magical lamp. And enter the battle. 
Now, this battle is with none other than Diablos. Quite scary. Who dares disturb my sleep? I do. Now, for Selfie, just have her stock for now. Um, her attacks are really bad. Now, his second thing that he's got them for magic is Demi. Um, Squall and Zell just attack like normal. Hopefully, Squall will land a blind attack. And then, one thing that's kind of cool is if you use Demi after you've drawn it from him, it doesn't work if you're casting it from draw. You actually have to draw it into stock and then use it from stock to have this fun little thing work. Um, and so if you cast Demi from stock, he will actually counter. Not only does it do a lot of damage in the beginning of the fight, but he'll also counter with Kiraga. <laughs> So, what you can do if a strategy is to have all of your party members draw using the magic ability, cast Demi on him over and over again. He'll constantly be healing you. The only problem with Demi um, and Gravija is that they don't, they don't kill. They just do a portion of damage. And I'm going to have Selfie draw some more. So, like, for instance, like 75% of your damage, or, or of your HP, or like 50%, or whatever it is. Um, so you can't actually kill him with just that strategy. So I just stick to regular attacks, and then every now and then maybe have Selfie do a Demi or something. Now the reason why we like to blind Diablos is because if he can't actually hit you, all he will do is cast Demi and Gravija and essentially never kill you. Because if he can't land a hit, those things don't kill on their own, so... But it doesn't look like I'm being successful in uh, actually blinding him. Might be more successful in casting blind with somebody, but... We're pretty much OP at this point, so I'm not really going to worry too much about it. Also, another good thing is that if Selfie gets down to a uh, very low health, you can use her Limit Break to cast full cure on everybody. And I didn't read that, but that's okay. <laughs> Essentially, Diablos gave in, and now is one of our, we got his card, and is now one of our guardian forces. And Siren learned status med refinement. All right. So what I actually want to do that was weird. What I actually want to do here is I'm going to equip uh, Zell with Diablos because he has magic junction. So it doesn't make sense to give that to um, Selfie. All right. Everything looks good apart from that. Um, I'm going to change everybody back to item here. Because I don't really need to use magic at all. And let's go ahead and set um, Siren since she just learned status med RF. Let's do tool refinement next. And then also Diablos has two refinement abilities. Let's start with time magic. Alright, and that's all we need to do right now. So... I'm actually heading back into Blam Garden here because there's a couple things we can do. First, since we have Zell in our party, we can continue the Zell love quest that we started in the first episode. And it has to do with going to the library. Now, I'm just saving like three seconds <laughs> selecting the, the library from the directory, but hey. And she's standing over here by the books. If there's a book you're looking for, please let one of the library committee know. We'll be happy to help you. That's nice. I appreciate it. Oh. I've been waiting forever for Goodbye Pure Run. Has anyone returned it yet? Oh, Zell. I I'll, I'll put a search on that. Please hold on a second. Well, we gotta hold on for longer than a second because it's not gonna happen yet. But anyways, I also keep forgetting back here there's a draw point for Asuna. So, I have Zell or Squall drawing everything, but uh... So yeah. Anyways, just a little heads up. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and go back to the main directory area. Um, we're going to do some more card grinding. The first card we're actually going to get is from Sid himself. So now that we've done the seat exam, we can actually choose uh, to go up to love the third floor using the elevator. And that actually brings us to uh, Sid's office where we got our seed re re exam results. Um, so, let's go ahead. Yes, what is it? 
It's your first mission. Good luck. I accidentally talked to him instead of challenged him to a card game. Yes, a game of cards? Yes. And uh, the good thing about him is that he has the Cypher card. So what I like to do is use Zell, Quistus, Diablo, Seyfried, and then Melbro because that's a good final card. Always works well putting that in the corner to start out with, like normal. And yeah, so I will continue to fight him until I see the, uh, the Cypher card. Okay, and there it is, the Cypher card. Now what I like to do is use my Diablos in the upper left, because that's Cypher's weakness, is the upper left corner. And there we go, now that he's out of the way, let's go ahead and just play defensively until we can capture one card, because that's all we need is one card. Okay, well I could capture that using Zell, I think I'll do that. There we go, perfect. And we get the Cypher card along with a Sammo card, and a Ruby Dragon card, and an Iron Giant card, and a Blabra card. Yay! Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're still gonna get some more cards. Ooh, we got paid! Okay, so here's the, um, we're gonna go to the first floor, by the way. Now, in this game, the way you make money is actually by your paycheck, and that's based off of your seed rank. So you're, the higher your seed rank, the more you get paid. But, um, anyways, what we'll want to do is um, go to the cafeteria, because we're going to be getting more refinement abilities and uh, coming up soon. And I want to use some of them on some more cards. Uh, but we want specific cards. We want to get Elnoils and Chimeras. So let's challenge Trepe Groupie number one in the back. And hopefully we can win some Elnoils and uh, Chimeras from him. Now, the goal is 20 Elnoils. And then as many Chimeras as we have after 20 Elnoils. So. Okay, so I probably should just kind of give you a heads up here, a little bit more information. They're level 5 cards. The Chimera, we on I only have 5 right now. Um, and Elnoil only have 9, so it's going to be quite a long amount of grinding here. Um, I'm not going to show you really any of this, um, but yeah. And I think I just accidentally selected play when he had a rule of 1, but oh well, we'll fix that later. And there's an Elnoil, yay! Um, are going to be up to 10, just need 10 more. <laughs> Alright, and it looks like this, I think, is the 20th. 20th Elnoil! I hope so. So, um... Let's see... You know what? Actually, what I want to do is go into Ability, go to Card Mod, and let's just start getting rid of these things. Just modding everything we can. Well, not necessarily everything we can. All of the new cards we got... And I'm actually gonna, I think I'm actually gonna card mod a, one of our rares as well, because it makes for some really good magic. Okay. Isn't this exciting? At least it means more magic. For everyone! Got 15 chimeras, which means only one of those, uh... Refinements, and, uh, the, okay, 20 Elnoils, perfect, don't need any more of those, and we're not actually going to be refining those into magic, the only, right now, the only reason why we're doing that is because, um, we're going to be using it later on for a weapon, and I am going to refine Quistus into three Samantha Souls, because it's going to give us some good magic. All right. Well, that's all of that um, I'm going to do now for the card grind. Next up is some more amazing grinding, and that is going to be... Um, essentially, we're going to be farming AP, ability points. Now that we have Siren and Diablos, in addition to our original three uh, Guardian Forces, they have some moves that we want them to learn. A couple more refinement abilities, a couple of junction abilities... Um, I'm going to get HP Junction for all three of our, our party members, so they'll have an amazing amount of health. And what else? Um, oh, also going to learn um, 
Diablos can learn some abilities that allow us to have lower encounter rates, which means less leveling up. And uh, we can remain at a lower level for the remainder of the game, which will be really awesome. So just heading on out here so we can go and farm. There is this draw point here. Uh, I forget what this is again. Oh, here, that's right. Oh, well, Selfie can draw it. There we go. And then once we are out of Balam Garden, I could have taken the easy route and just clicked lobby or whatever from or front gate from the directory, but oh well. Um, now that we're out in the world, let's go to our favorite beach and start farming uh, some of those Fastaticolons. I still don't know how to pronounce their names. Uh, battles should go a lot faster now, though, because we hit harder. Now, at least Zell and Squall do. For Selfie, um, I'm just gonna have her draw some magic. Because she's kind of pointless right now, she doesn't have the best strength. So I'm gonna kind of have her kind of be our magic draw person. But yeah, so this is just gonna be rinse and repeat like we did last time, and I'll see you when I get the, my first ability. Oh, and right off the bat, Ifrit learned HP Junction, that's good. So let's go ahead and have Ifrit learn something else first. Um, you know what, I'm gonna have him learn Strength plus 40%. He's on Squall, he's Junction to Squall, so that should be really good. Make him even more OP. And let's go ahead and just auto attack. And look at that. He's now, he's now has uh, 3,300 HP. So even in the hundreds, he's considered to be weakened. So now I can actually use Limit Breaks if I want with Squall. Our, even just at 400 health, he can not, now use Limit Breaks because his health is just so high. His maximum, at least. But I'm just going to have him do regular attacks because... I feel like that's just, these guys don't need an entire limit break to die, so, yeah. And the fight continues. And Quetzalcoatl learned Mid-Mag RF. Now this is not the greatest thing in the world, but I'll just show you what it does after I teach him something else. Okay, HP Junction for you. That works. He's on selfie, so yeah, that'll work for her. And then, okay, all I need to do is go to ability, mid mag RF, refine mid magic level, or mid level magic. And this is all you can really do. You just pick a person, go down in the list, and go, okay, oh, I already have all the Firas I need, all the Blizzaras I need, all the Thandaras I need, so not gonna work very well for Squall or really anybody. Cure, okay, fine. There you go. The return rate on this is really kind of bad. The only good news about this is it kind of frees up some space because you only get eight pages of magic, and each page only can take four types of magic. So it's only 32 types of magic, so at least it can cure, you know, kind of uh, clear up some of that space in your magic menu. That's really the only thing that I see as far as uh, a bonus for them, for that ability goes. And Siren learned tool refinement, and Diablos learned time magic refinement. We're learning all sorts of stuff really quickly here. Okay, so first things first, I just want to change their learning, um, because otherwise I'll forget. <laughs> um, Alright, so now that Siren has her refinement abilities, let's go ahead and give her magic plus 20%. Because everything else is just oh, meh. Um, and for Diablos, he has a status magic refinement, so let's have him learn that. Um, and I guess I can do some refinement now. I did actually mod all those cards, so let's see what else we can get. Uh, whatever. Okay, well, Thundaga's good. Thundara's even better. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know where my mind's at, where my head's at. It's in the it's in the farm mode. It's in grind mode. And I usually just kind of go numb <laughs> when I'm grinding. I'm just like, okay, yeah. Uh, you know, autopilot. Go. Well, we got most of these already, so that's good. Alright, and for fire, won't get a whole lot. Fira's meh. Good for Selfie, because she doesn't really have a whole lot of anything. Flares, yes, we want more flares for Squall. Uh, life magic refinement, we could do the 10 for the Kiragas, but you know, I want to keep my 10s. Don't know why, 
I guess I could. I could try. I could buy just buy more tents, but oh well. For now, I'm just gonna say we don't really need that. Um, full lifes. Okay, give those a squall. Now this is what we got from our chimeras. Our chimeras were the uh, full life spells there. Slows sounds good to me. Give some of those to Zells as well. Demis, give some of those to Squall. As you can see, I'm starting with Squall and then working my way down. One thing I am nervous about though is I feel like I'll I'm pretty I feel like I'm getting pretty close to having Squall's eight pages be maxed out because I'm having him learn everything. But we'll deal with that when we get to it. Triples! Let's give those to Squall too. Oh wait, you know what? We get 60 triples per, so let's give. We don't want to give. We want to give one to three different people because otherwise we're wasting 20. Because we'll only get 60 for the first one. We'll get 60 for the first one, then 40 for the second. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So if I spread it out, that makes it. We get more. Tool RF. Uh, we get a bunch of these stones. I don't really want to deal with that right now. Um, Mid Mag RF, we'd already did. Card mod. All right, well, let's just do this for now. Make sure that we. After we've done that, that we read Junction. And I think I think we're good. Um, yeah, let's just do that for now and keep battling. And Diablos learned uh, status magic refinement. So let's go ahead and use it. Okay. Berserks. Uh oh. Okay. Do I? Does the squall already have berserks? Well, we'll give these to the other people instead. And uh, silences. Well, I know squall has silence. Okay, that doesn't worry me that much. Uh, blinds. He has blinds. Okay. Breaks. I don't remember him having breaks. Okay. Sleeps. Yeah. Confuses? No. This is definitely my first confuse. Okay, great. That tells me that um, his magic menu is full. Okay. This is going to be kind of obnoxious, but that's okay. Let's just keep refining um, the magic that we can. And we'll fix this in a little bit. <laughs> Bios. Okay. And I think that's it. Okay, how are we going to do this? Um... Well, we're going to need to essentially... Whoops, I didn't mean to all re re rearrange. Let's get rid of some of the lower magic stuff. Um, let's give it away. Let's see, what can we give away here? Mm, I don't need this Asuna. You know what, I'll figure this out and uh, I'll come back to you. Essentially what I need to do here is just try to get rid of my lower level magic. It, worst case scenario, I can just give it to Quistus because she's got an empty menu. So... Ugh, yeah, that didn't really do anything good. Okay, this is gonna be obnoxious. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, so I think I've got it under control. Um, I gave some of my magic to Quistus, and now I'm just trying to take as much as I can from Selfie of things that I do not have. Um, and I think I got everything done pretty well. So let's just go ahead and rearrange everything. Essentially, the idea for me is that I want to have Squall to have the best magic so that he gets first pick of what he's junctioning. And, uh, and yeah, so that's kind of the goal here. And now that I've done that, let's go ahead and see if I can't um, give Squall even more magic from the status magic refinement. Yeah, it looks like everything. All right. And now let's just go ahead and now that we've done that, we find some more magic. Let's auto for everybody. So gonna auto magic for selfie because she doesn't really have anything else that she can can do. All right, onwards and upwards. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and switch Diablos because kind of forgot to do that. <laughs> And Quetzalcoatl learned HP Junction. So that's on Selfie here. So let's go ahead and change Quetzalcoatl to... Hmm. 
You know what? Let's give him elemental defense junction. Yeah, that would work. And now, let's junction self magic to selfies HP. And she will go into the yellow also. And this is what I've been waiting for. I haven't been healing any of my guys yet. Because now we can actually use selfies limit break. And uh, selfies limit break is pretty much like a, a gamble limit break. Um, she gets what's called slot. And it allows her to cast, um, cast magic for free. Um, it tells you what magic you will be casting, so then you can say either roll again to get a different magic. Oh, here we go. Slot. So do over to get a different magic. Um, and I'm looking for full life. That's essentially the best way to use selfie. And usually you get it pretty quickly here. There it goes. Full cure. That's what I meant, not full life. And now she'll just heal everyone up completely 100% back to to their max HP. I love it. Yay! And Siren learned magic plus, what was that, 20% I think? So let's change her again. And now we can have her learn magic plus 40%. This will eventually unlock uh, an ability called magic bonus, which gives you a bonus every time you level uh, in your magic stat, so. All right, uh, and it's on Squall, so we'll just give him that for now. Okay, and we got paid again. This is actually the best time to take um, to take more tests. So I'm going to take um, as many tests as I can now that I've leveled up a couple times, and uh, I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so I can't take any more tests uh, because I am not past level 16, but that's fine. So the reason why I say that we can only take... Uh, tests or that the best time to take tests is right after you get paid is because when you take a test you technically reset um, like a calculator that is counting up points for your seed rank so for instance I think you need a hundred points to go up a seed rank so as you do things like fighting battles um, doing well on missions and you know you'll gain points and other things will subtract points well when you take a test a seed test and you pass it you go up immediately to the next level so if you had 70 points left to get to that next seed rank you will gain those 70 points and essentially go back to zero and whenever you get paid you I think lose 10 points so you don't want to take tests right before you get paid because you take a test you'll go back to zero on the calculator you'll lose 10 points and that means you'll actually go down a rank so I like to wait until I get paid then take all the tests I can and then you know once I do battles and do missions and do stuff like that it'll prevent um, me from going down a rank when I get paid next. So that's just kind of a little bit of insight. If you want more specifics, you can look it up. Um, but yeah, just that's why I say the best time to take tests is to uh, is right after you get paid. So yeah. Okay, Shiva learned elemental attack junction. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Auto Junction Zell's Magic, but I just want to make sure that it's not water. Okay. If you don't want it to be water at this point, because the fish will actually absorb that, so in Blizzaga should be fine. It's not going to be amazing, but hey, whatever. And don't forget to change Shiva's Junction. Um, I guess I'll give her Elemental Defense Junction. Yeah, that's fine. I can live with that. And Diablos learned HP Junction. Okay, so let's go ahead and change his. Now, the last thing we really need him to learn right now um, is Encounter Half. That cuts our encounter rate by half. That's going to make it nicer so we don't have as many battles. Um, and he's on sale, that's right. So let's go ahead and auto attack for him. So now he's got a high HP and also just wanted to recheck to make sure it didn't junction water onto him. And I just want to go through and make sure that everybody else is learning something new. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll be good. Okay, Ifrit learned Strength plus 40%. Okay, so you might be wondering with this whole thing, when is it going to be over? Well, it's going to be over soon. As soon as he learns Ammo Refinement. That's going to be the last thing that I'm going to say let's learn in this uh, grinding period. Um, so, just a heads up. Also, I'm going to change Squall's ability so that he, he uses strength more than magic, so let's just boost his strength even more. <laughs> and 
and Diablos learned Encounter Half. That's great. We're not actually going to be equipping that just yet because we want to keep battling. Um, but we do need to change what he learns. We could have him learn Encounter None, which would make it go have no encounters. But um, I don't think we need that just yet. I think encounters are still fine. So I'm going to have him learn Mug instead. And if Freet learned Ammo Refinement, that's the last thing we're going to have him learn right now. Uh, that we're going to have anybody learn or that we're going to grind for. So instead I'm going to... The next thing I'm going to have him learn I think is Strength Bonus, which is plus one bonus to Strength every level up. So that's good. Um, but yeah, that's it. Gonna, that's going to be it for now for the grinding. And for Ammo Refinement, it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot that we're going to be using. We don't really use ammo just yet, but ammo is going to be something that one of our later characters will use. And uh, the best thing about ammo, though, is that you can actually have, um, you will be able to do some more refining from it, especially the pulse ammo. That's why we got the Eln oil. It's very important, but for important for later. Uh, now let's make sure we sort our items so it's not so messy. And that's going to be it. Oh, also, I need to uh, junction um, encounter half to Zell because he has um, he has Diablos. And so now we'll encounter things half as much. Which is going to be great. We won't be leveling as much because of it. And now that we're done with the grinding, let's go ahead and head over to Balam Town. There's only going to be a couple things that we're going to do left, uh, that we have left to do here in this episode. And the first one is I'm going to go and rest. Zell is pretty weak. And uh, we all now have a lot more HP. Welcome to the Balam Hotel, rooms of 100 gil. Yes, I will be staying with you. And then another thing that's really important is we are going to save it. We're going to save our game. Because one thing we're going to be doing uh, is something that has multiple results. And we want the very specific result to occur. So we're going to save it now. And uh, if we don't get the result we want, then we will start over at the save point. All right, so after we've slept at the hotel, rested at the inn, let's go ahead a little over to the left here. There is a shop. It's a junk shop. And this is where we can actually get better weapons. So you also need items for this, but because of our cards, we have pretty much every item you need. I'm going to get Punishment, which increases Squall's strength. Um, Selfie can get Morning Star, which increases her strength and hit percent, so that's good. Nobody else really has a, a, an upgrade right now. And the way that you get these upgrades is through these weapons monthly magazines. So as you can see, here's a gunblade for Squall and some fists and stuff like that. Now, some of our party members will already have these equipped, but that's just how you get you learn about upgrades. You get those magazines and then you have access to upgrading it with the proper materials. And then further in is a shop where you can buy some items. You need to buy anything before you go. We carry various gifts too. That's awesome. Let's buy some Sturf. Um, high potions are good, especially now that I've got um, pretty decent HP. Antidote. You know, I always like to try to get at least like three, four, or five of these <laughs> different status ailment items. This time I'm going with five. Sometimes I just do three, but that's good to have remedy at five and G potion will be good G potions uh, give restore health to our guardian forces we already have a good amount of returners which are essentially Phoenix downs for uh, guardian forces and then some more Phoenix downs for ourselves and now what we're gonna do is challenge uh, the Queen of cards kind of the last thing we're gonna do here uh, we don't want direct I want something either all or one. Honestly, that's going to be the best. Okay, all. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use our mini mod card, and we're purposefully going to use crappy cards. We're going to try to lose our mini mod card, because then the queen of cards will, um, she'll essentially give that to her her dad, and then the her father will get inspired, make a new card out of it, and then give the give the mini mod card to his son, so that we can win it back later. Now, this only happens if... Okay, wow. I totally just decided to be very... Wow, I can't believe I didn't lose to her. Okay, I was trying to be very much like the the AI of the computer and just do the lower right as much as possible, but that didn't work. So let's try... I guess I, guess I have to actively try to lose here. Um, 
I don't want direct. I want either all or one. Preferably one. One would be pretty good. But I don't really need these cards anyway. So, oh, there's one. Okay, that's fine. Let's play. Uh, once again, Minimog um, and a bunch of lower cards. She'll automatically pick Minimog because it's our best card if we when we lose. So I need to actively lose here. Just going to try to not... Just going to try to put things in a way where they were just really weak and easy to get. But anyways, so the, the storyline that I told you about her passing along the cards and having new cards available and stuff like that only happens if she goes to a town. When you lose a card to her, she moves to a different town, and that town has to be Dalit, the place that we had our seed exam, because that's where her father lives. If she goes anywhere else, she's not going to give the card to her father. So Minimog card lost, let's talk to her again, and it's got to be Dalit. Okay, she's heading towards Dalit. This is when you reset if she goes somewhere else. And you keep doing this until she has Dalit. The train to Timber is here. Please purchase a train ticket. 3,000 gil. Sounds good. Please go inside right away. The train to Timber will be leaving shortly. So now that we've done everything, let's purchase it. We purchased our ticket to Timber. And we can board the train. And uh, we won't be doing starting the mission until the next episode. But at least we can get on the train and start heading off to Timber uh, in this one. This is where we're going to leave off. I think there's a little bit of dialogue. And then we can stop. This train is awesome! A transcontinental railroad, baby! It even runs through an underwater tunnel to get to Timber. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, whatever. Sure is. Guess you're not interested. By the way, Squall, you have to use the ticket to get inside. Oh, uh, do I have to do everything? Jeez. Put up with enough as it is. Okay, we can go inside now. ID check confirming access granted. I guess the ID check is not actually what they say, but oh well. I'm gonna go check out the front! Teehee, thanks! Let's go check it out, Squall. Yeah, you go on ahead. All right, so this is where we're actually going to end the episode. If you liked the episode, please uh, like, subscribe, or comment. I'd appreciate it mucho. Um, and uh, I will see you in the next episode. Laters!